All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, for Hafadash, the blind of the apostles and elders of great millstone, who will peace and salutations to you, sincere. I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. Um, and real quick, just wanted to, to, to jump in and prophesy on the times, man, because here it is. We're fresh in the 2020, fresh into the year of prophecy, and uh, the prophecies are speaking. But they're not lying. You know, the, the, everything that, that uh, the prophets are saying was going to happen in the last days is happening. All, right? and, and all we're doing, you know, is is counting down. You know, we're not taking up arms. We're not going against uh, the government on a physical level. But we are uh, advocating that the government of Israel, according to the Holy Bible, be placed back, you know, on top. And the scriptures talk about that. It's Isaiah 2 and 2. <clears throat> it said, matter of fact, I'll get 2 and 1. It said, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. That means all the tribes of Israel. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Exactly so. The, basically, the, the government of Israel is going to be back on top, and all nations are going to flow unto it. Right? And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the, the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And uh, as you can see, you know, there's so many uproars of the people because that's not the case. That's not the case. They're not seeking, you know, the, the, the people are not seeking, excuse me, the people aren't seeking after uh, to walk in his paths. They're not doing that. Right? And that's why you have situations like this, which, you know, if you're an Israelite, you don't need to even be a part of this, all right? Because, well, let's, let's play it. Let's see. Let's break it down. Descend on the state capitol for a gun rights rally. Police are locking down the site of tomorrow's demonstration, and firearms have been banned, as officials say there's credible intelligence of possible violence. Jeff Begays is in Richmond. Even before the rally officially gets underway, security here is tight. Gun rights supporters Michelle Wharton and Tom Boyle traveled to Virginia from New York because they are concerned about legislative efforts to roll back gun ownership across the country. We're here for the gun, so that we have the right to bear our arms and to be able to give our guns to our children. All the supporters for gun rights, it, we're not here for violence at all. We never have been. It's all for supporting your rights. Yeah, it's all for supporting your rights. Yeah, but, but you know, out of one breath, see, this, this is the devil. Out of one breath, they'll tell you, yeah, we, we support, you know, the Constitution, our law. But then out of the next breath, we know that it's so-called Martin Luther King Day, which is supposed to be a thing of peace. All right, and this, this, this just goes to show you who the devil is, man, who the one deceiving the earth is. All right, and, and another thing about all these news camera shots, one thing about it, they're making sure they get this uh, Roman-style architecture. They're making sure they, they uh, show that stuff in the background. Uh, to keep that in your mind, you know, in, in what place this is. This is this is this is Babylon, the land of confusion. All right, they'll actually let these people do a gun rally at a at a uh, somebody who they consider uh, an advocate for peace at Martin Luther King uh, Day Parade or whatever whatever you know it is, whatever tribute it is. All right, and we know according to the scriptures that Martin Luther King was not a false prophet, and that at, towards the end of his life. He uh, wanted to opt for reparations, and, and uh, he was trying to, you know, get away from from what they say. He was trying to get away from being a puppet or so. Or so. Well, hey, you know, the damage that he did, he it was done. And the Most High, you know, required for things that are passed. That's why, you know, ultimately he got taken out because he wasn't he wasn't giving, you know, the people the scriptures. He was giving them false prophecy. And a false narrative that the Most High never wished for his people or the earth. You know, we just read Isaiah 2, where all these nations are going to come to the Israelites and they're going to basically bow down and pay homage 
and they're going to learn to uh, walk in the law to the best of their ability. All right, this is Proverbs 28 and 4. It says, They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. So if you're with the law and you're dealing with the wicked, you're going to contend, you, you know, you're, it's going to be a back and forth process against them. All right, so it, it could never, that's why here in, in America, where, you know, the, the law of the Bible was never the law of the land, but they said it was, there's always been that contention. You know, even now, where Esau can see that he's at an end, because that's ultimately why they're doing all this shit. They can see that this is it for them. Because uh, the scriptures talk about, you know, the vision, our vision, you know, which the Most High, you know, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, gave us, it's, it's for an appointed time, you know, and it's going to speak and not lie. Well, if you can see, uh, it, it, and it will not fail as well, I'm paraphrasing. Esau, the vision he has is failing. It's failing. You know, you can see that even through his uh, media. You know, look at his children. The 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 the, the level of strength that they once had and all the, the camaraderie. You know, look at rock and roll. Even though Jake created it, but they took it over. Look at it now. That shit is done. That shit is dead. You know, his children. They want to look like the Israelites, the people that they've sit here and oppressed. All right, look at the look at his uh, media. Look at all the remakes. Every every movie this year is a damn remake or a sequel of something that's already successful. They're trying to ride out the same shit, but it's not gonna work. The scriptures say what? I will heal Babylon. Matter of fact, let me get that. I will heal Babylon if it could be healed. It can't be healed. All right, just like Rome, the Roman Empire was great too. And America was great. It was great for great for Edomites. It was never great for 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 the Israelites. We would not we Jeremiah fifty one and nine. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go every one into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, and it's a it's a um, it's a uh, uh, it's a mixed bag, you know, because these heathens they love they love this place. They love the money that they can make off of it. You know, they love that they can come here and they can be uninhibited. You know, they can get with Esau and, and, and you know, they could do engage in wickedness that they couldn't get away with in their own nation. But then it's a hate thing, too. They they hate the whore. They want to see her destroyed. State officials say there have been several credible threats made to the event, including the use of weaponized drones. In response, the FAA restricted airspace over the event, and the FBI said that it is working with local and state law enforcement in relation to threats of violence at the rally. This week, seven members of the white supremacist group The Base were arrested in Wisconsin, Georgia, Maryland, and Delaware. Investigators believe three of the men were heading to the rally in Virginia. State mm -hmm. officials say they want to avoid another Charlottesville. 2017, the Unite the Right rally ended in the death of counter-protester Heather Heyer. Michelle Wharton hopes the rally here will be peaceful, but she is worried the gun rights message will be hijacked. Our fears are, you know, that the skinheads and the um, neo-Nazi groups are, um, you know, white supremacists. And this motherfucker next to her is a fucking skinhead. <laughs> this guy is, is clearly a skinhead. You can see by his countenance. All right, but then once again, man, that's just Satan. All right, and this year is starting off with all of these different states of emergency. What is a state of emergency? A situation of natural danger or disaster in which a government suspends normal constitutional procedures in order to regain control. So these devils, they're so, they're so desperate, deep in their mind, they believe, the scriptures tell you that too, they believe they're going to rule forever. That they'll suspend the Constitution, they'll suspend all your law, they'll suspend all your rights, right? They can take you to these damn black sites or whatever. They can take you to these uh, little off-the-grid locations and suspend your rights in order to regain control. Uh, and that's why the scriptures ultimately say what, well, seeing that he had this, but a short time, he'll be like a madman, sparing none. Right, and the Most High gave this man his blessing, and, and, and it's coming to a, it's coming to a close. It's nothing you could do, buddy. 
All right, and that's that's really all I had, man. It's just watching this 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 bullshit. And this is why the Lord told us, gave us specific instructions for what we're supposed to do. All right, this is also why prayer, you know, us being able to communicate with the Most High, um, us being able to to have that uh, go into the uh, matter of fact, let me get that go into the the closet of your mind. All right, because once this man comes and starts uh, snatching us up and all this other shit, that's you know that's all you're gonna have. That's all you really gonna have is uh, you know you get in these situations you know where the Most High test you or, or or you know where there's a test put on you. That's all you got is your your prayer and that faith. You know, in the in the uh, ability that the Most High gave you. Sometimes you might have to figure it out. You know. You might have to, of course, he, of course, ultimately it's him giving you those pieces, but you might just have to figure it out on your own. It's lucky. All right. And this is, this is wicked, man. But it's a damn shame when this man uh, has to, he has to, <laughs> they're calling their own people out on national television. Okay, and this is uh, Salaki again. This is Matthew 6 and 6. It says, but, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. And that's what, you know, that's what we, uh, that's, that's, what, that's what we do when we pray. You know, we're not in the street doing a chant or nothing like that. Oh, matter of fact, next verse. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do. You know, om, om. Or you see these people in the street, you know, they're sitting there saying the same thing over and over. You know, who, 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 who shuts shit down? We shut shit down. Uh, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Yeah, they think that doing all of that, their, their prayers will be heard. And that's not the case. This man is set up for an appointed time, and then he's going to go down. And that's it. Now, in prayer, prayer is a, is a very, 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 very uh, important thing for the Israelite men. That secured area, many demonstrators were heavily armed. Look at them. They look like soldiers there, some wearing body armor. Uh, and there are fears there could be violence, uh, particularly from white extremists. Last week, the FBI arrested three. Yeah, they, they soldiered up, man. This man soldiered up. At a, at a, at, I believe this is a Martin Luther King, uh, supposed to be a Martin Luther King parade or something like that. Soldiered up. <laughs> they, they know it's a rap, man. Call Allah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. You know, they are in a Bible ball. <laughs> 